Hey everyone, so today I am doing a black label lipstick review and swatch video because I know how crappy the like swatches are on the NYX websites and the places that sell the black label lipsticks and honestly it's so hard to find swatches of all the black label lipsticks online because people don't really buy them because they don't know what they're going to look like so they don't swatch them. Like I found maybe like six different colour swatches out of the whole collection. So I decided that I would just splurge a little bit on Beauty Joint and buy a whole lot of random colours. I had no idea what they were going to look like. Um, just so I could do a swatch video for you guys. So I have 11 different shades here. Okay, so I'm just going to jump straight into the swatches and I'll do the review at the end. The first one here I have is India. This is one of my favourite shades. This one and the next one I'm going to show you. It's so wearable. I rave about it all the time. If you are a fair skin tone looks perfect. So that's what the colour looks like. It just really brightens up my face a lot. The next one I have here is also one of my favourites. It's called Nude and this looks really good on kind of like fair to medium skin tones as a nude colour. And it looks like this. similar to India except it's more of a nude colour you know there's more kind of like beige tones to it but it's still really flattering because it does have a tinge of like kind of a pinky peachy colour to it. Next I have Aries and it looks like this in the tube and it's kind of like a brownie pink colour. So that's what that one there looks like it's just kind of like a everyday brownie pink kind of colour. The next one I have here is called Princess and it's a really nice pink colour, bubblegum pink. Really good if you're into the kind of deeper, um, kind of medium pink colours. The next one I have here is one of my favourites also. It's called Heather and it's kind of like a lighter version of the last one and less kind of, um, I don't know. It's really good if you layer it on top of like a nude lipstick, it makes, I don't know, it just looks really natural and pretty. That's what that one there looks like, I prefer this one over the last one, they're very similar though. The next one I have here is Acapulco, it's kind of a hard one to say, looks like this in the tube. This one's a little bit more sheer than the other ones. That's what that one there looks like, a lot of these are kind of... Very similar looking, which you wouldn't know looking at the swatches online, so now you can see. <laughs> this one here is called Girly Pink. Again, very similar to the other ones. This one's a little bit more frosty. Okay, scratch a little bit, it's a lot more frosty. I'm not a fan of frosty lipsticks just because I feel like they accentuate all of the, you know, dry skin on my lips and things like that. But if you like them then, I suppose this is quite a nice one, it's a nice kind of pink colour, just not exactly my kind of thing. The next one here is Cancun Pink, and it's a deeper fuchsia pink. That's what that one there looks like. This one here is called Hot Pink, I really like this one. It's again quite a fuchsia pink, similar to the last one. I find this one just a little bit more wearable because it's a little bit more sheer so you can build up the colour. This one here is called Beauty Queen and it's a really cool hot pink colour. It really reminds me a lot of anime OCC lip tar. Excuse the sloppy application but that's what that one looks like. Super bright if you're into bright colours. Looks really really nice. This would look really good on people from fair to really really deep skin tones. The last one I have here is Opium and this is kind of like an orangey red colour. This one is a bit sheer, like not super sheer but really buildable which I quite like because it's not like scary to apply. It has a tiny bit of a frost to it but I don't mind this one because it's not really really obvious. I'm just applying India, the India colour through the review because I love it. So overall, compared to the round lipsticks, these ones are about 20 times better. They last a ton longer. They have a nicer formula. They're really creamy. They have a pleasant smell. It's nothing overpowering. I think they are worth the extra money. It just sucks that the colour selection is so large and there are no swatches and the swatches online suck. If you have any that you think I would like, write them down below that I didn't show today. The packaging is okay. I like that you can see the colour down the bottom 
and it has a cute lace detail on it but I mean it's kind of bulky at the end of the day um, I find them a pain to kind of um, store um, you can't really fit too many in like a drawer or anything like that because they're so bulky nude and India are definitely two of the most used lipsticks that I have I use them all the time I've gone through tons and tons of the sticks with them don't really know what else to say I really recommend them I think you can buy them off like non pareil boutique cherry culture beauty joint that's really all I have to say I hope that the swatches came in helpful for you guys let me know if you're going to order any and what colors you're going to order and I hope you guys have a fantastic day I'm sorry that a lot of these colors ended up being really similar as I said I didn't really know when I was choosing them online it's really hard to select colors like I thought they would be more different than they are but that's okay have a really good day and I'll talk to you soon bye